We're gonna go to the, the next critical shit right here. Number two on the list you've got here is create jobs. Oh man, I, this is my what you know. I, again, I always take I, I always take an approach that I I like to be look at things different than any, anybody else. That's that's my thing in life. I look at I I because here's what, whenever I hear people repeat things again and again, whatever it is, create jobs, tax the rich, whatever little catchphrases people use. You know, uh, I remember there was the, we're going to repeal and replace. I heard that for seven years from Republicans. I was like, all right, repeal and replace with what? And, and just like this, create job. We're going to create job. I, I was in the army. I've been a job doer. I've not been a job creator in my life. I've been a job doer. Somebody creates a fucking job. I'm typically the dude they turn to and they go, I've created a job. You've got to go fucking do it. Here's what I'll say about creating jobs, in my opinion. Why the fuck are we even trying to create jobs? This is what I'd like to hear. We've got computers. We've got robots. We've got technology. We've got the ability to eliminate fucking jobs. I don't want a job. I'd love to just chill. My favorite day is spent in a field, live music. I don't even care who, what it is. You can play any instrument, <laughs> like an accordion. I don't give a fuck. Play the harmonica. I've listened to great music played from any instrument, live music, couple of my friends, little tequila, a little smoke, some good food. And relaxing. I don't care about a job. Creating a job to me, what is that supposed to mean? Why, why aren't we trying to do it? I would love the politician that comes forward and goes, guess what, guys? I've come up with a, a plan to eliminate all jobs. No one's going to need to do a job. From now on, you can just create. You can just live an enjoyable life. You can spend time with your child. My, my whole life is centered around doing as much work as I can so that I can spend pleasurable time around my son. I don't even know if you have kids. Yep, yeah, okay. two. All right, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I did know that. <laughs> but it's not a film. We, we don't have a lot of off-air discussion. Right. So we don't talk about this kind of shit. I like to spend time with my kid, man. And because of the way the world is set up, and because there's motherfuckers out there every day trying to create jobs and talking about how they're going to create jobs, politicians love to say it. It's their favorite thing. It's one of their favorite. It's one of those, their go-to phrases in a speech. You listen to a, a candidate running for office, and he's going to talk about his multiple plans that he's got to create jobs. I've done jobs that people have created. I've sat at a job where I'm at my job and I've done all the work that my job entailed. I've done everything that could possibly be conceived as part of my job. There's nothing left to do. And my boss comes up and goes, I'm going to create some, I need to create a job for you. You're sitting here. You're sitting here you're, you need, I need to create. And let me tell you, whatever they come up with always sucks. It's not some great where I'm like, oh, thank you. Sir, for this wonderful <laughs> opportunity to sh shine the sinks under the bar or whatever crazy shit that you, you know, I want to polish the top of the TVs on the patio. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I, I believe, I believe at this point, man, we, we can, we can do most of the functions that need to be done to grow food, produce food, transport food, serve food by, you know, with minimal human interaction with the food. You can, there's machines that can plant it. There's machines that can monitor it. There's machines that can grow it. That's a big deal. Healthcare, you, you can, enter your shit in a computer now and they can fucking tell you what's wrong with you and they can diagnose you and treat you and maybe you know a little 
But for the most part, in terms of what actually needs to be done, what jobs are actually, besides, you know, entertainment or whatever, it's fairly able to be automated. So why don't we? Why are we afraid of that? Because we... people because people need money. So where do they get money? Because the world revolves around this fucking thing called money. So you've got to have money. You can't just give them money. You can't give some we money can. and not the other one money. We can't. Oh, we're going to. Why can't we? You got to, listen. Why can't we? Just, we're going why to. Why can't we just give people money? Uh, I was going to put this on the list right here. Biden's going to give everyone who has a child under the age of like fucking 13 or really? 16. Nope, 17. If you have a child under between six and 17, you get $250 a month yes. for that kid. For every kid under six, $300 a month. I'd like to see you just every, give money. I'd like to see everybody in America. This is what I'd like to see. This is and this and, and this is where this is why I love being able to have these conversations, especially with people that don't agree with me. Because I don't want people to agree with me. If I'm in a conversation with somebody and they instantly agree with me, I usually end the conversation pretty quickly. I don't want to hear people that agree with me. No, but first of all, nobody ever does. And second of all, there's no point in having a conversation. Look. Give them ten thousand dollars a month. The fuck? What difference does it make? What, <laughs> what is money at this point besides digits on a computer screen? What is it actually? It's nothing. Is there anything actually behind it? No. Is there any true value to it aside from what we? I mean, I got money. What makes it a value is us not. What makes our money valuable isn't the money. It's the commodity that we want to exchange the money for. So okay. you've, you've got your Coca-Cola there. Sure. Your Coca-Cola, someone has deemed, is $2 at the gas station. Exactly. That's amazing. That was so you need was. you need $2, right? Outside of that, what else can you do with $2? Whatever someone deems is worth $2. Outside of that, there's nothing backing it. If you showed up at that gas station with a little nugget of gold, you aren't walking out of there with some right. fucking Coca-Cola. Nothing and backs why, it. And why, and why on earth have we dis- decided that a nugget of gold is, is, <laughs> has value anyway? I don't know. I don't even, honestly, Dying, why are time like, so expensive? People were like, we were like, oh, the gold, <laughs> the gold standard. The gold, yeah. We're off the gold. What, what is going to happen now that we're off the gold standard? What? I don't it's know. A, it's a I always rock. laughed. It's a, it's a shiny rock. <laughs> I always laughed at diamonds. You need a diamond ring, Marshall? You need a diamond ring? They're rare. They're not rare. They're fucking everywhere. Right. It's on saw blades. There's diamonds everywhere. It's right. not that rare. Right. Maybe a real big one is rare, like okay. a real big one, but it's Fair still enough. just a rock that right. somebody right. put a value on. And, and my point that I've tried to make a million times throughout my life and I had this first conversation with my sister when I was about five years old. When I was five years old, my, my uncle told my sister if she did some task, I can't remember what it was, she was going to get five cents. My sister did the task. My sister has an IQ of 161. She's one of the smartest people on the fucking planet. She's smart as fuck. She's really smart. She was like three years old. My uncle gave her a nickel. And she's like, what's this? And he goes, this is a nickel. And she goes, you told me you were going to give me five cents. And he was like, yes, this is worth five cents. My sister, who's a fucking genius, was like, don't tell me that one thing is worth five cents. It's not. I want five cents. I want one, <laughs> two, three, four, five <laughs> cents. And that's the thing, man. Look, we give, we, we pretend the only value that this, any of this shit actually has, we're in $30 trillion worth of debt. What the fuck does that mean? Imagine what this. That Imagine mean? this. It mean shit. It's made up fucking, who the fuck, who's monitoring that? Who knows? Who the fuck is keeping track of 30 trillion? Fuck? We don't Imagine that. Ima- this. I'm going to, this is crazy. Imagine this, Marshall. I'm going to take a piece of paper. I'm going to print something on it. And that piece of paper is now going to be worth $1. But I'm also going to take the same piece of paper and I'm going to print $100. Right? <laughs> it's worth $100. And, and, and the only reason, the only reason that money has any value, and people people have gotten furious with me <laughs> having this conversation. 
especially my ex-wife who is in banking. She's a banker. Her whole life revolves around dollars. She's got to believe this shit. I'm like, it's an illusion. It's just an illusion. And and if and if we have some kind of major catastrophe where everything is wiped out, it will all mean nothing. And the only thing that's going to matter is how nice are we to each other? How nice are we? Doing? Yeah. What skills do you have? What, what can what you can bring? What can you do? What can you? What, 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 what do you get at? What do you bring to society as yeah. a human being and as a person that has a tremendous number of skills, whoever that person might be? It's not me. I, I don't have any. I don't know how to carry your tray of food to your table, set it down in front of you, and once you make a giant mess, I know how to clean it back up and get it ready for the next group of people to sit down after you. That's my skill in life. I've I accepted that earlier. I'm a waiter, a busboy, a host, a bartender, a dishwasher. I can function in a restaurant environment. I need to make you a good meal. You can come to my house I've, if I've got a house at the time. I can prepare you a meal that you're going to love, and I'm going to enjoy bringing it and laying it in front of you. I don't have any fucking. I don't. I. I can't. I couldn't even. If you died tomorrow, the show is over. <laughs> the show is over. It was done. I'm not posting it. You can leave detailed <laughs> instructions, Marshall. I'm about to die. Here's how you. Continue the podcast. I'd be like, bro, the podcast is over. <laughs> the podcast is done. I have no skills. So what I'm saying is, people talk about, you know, you're earning this for doing this job. You're earning that. They give you a check. It's got these numbers on it. It's all made up shit. It's, it, you, it, it, there's somebody out there that controls all these computer screens that determines. If you're a bank, honestly, if you're a bank, couldn't you just... Put in your numbers of what you've got in the bank and just, I mean, what's stopping you? What do you actually have to have? To prove I don't know. That you've got that money in the bank. Do you have to have know. the paper notes? There's no bank? way because you because can just transfer the money. Tra there are too many transactions going, <laughs> yeah. going by. It's all speed. digital. It's all being done with cards. And, I have and, a card. I swipe the card and, and the card and, says, and if okay. You're, if you're the banker and you're sitting there in the bank, your bank is short of money. How can it be short of money? You just enter into the computer. We've got money. this much money. Who's to say that you don't? That's some other dude in front of another computer. It's like that. <laughs> I don't have that number right, right. in mind. You're like, hey, I'm Steve. I'm going to need you to type this number in there because that's the, our numbers will match now. <laughs> Somewhere it's just a dude in a computer putting in the yeah. number. Who ultimately tells the other people with computers that their numbers are right or wrong? Yeah. And how is he verifying? Like, I don't know. They used to just have a sack of money. You just have some coins right, and you just, right. it's a coin. At some point, it's it was, it seven changed. pounds. It changed. It so did change. Numbers on the screen. Yeah. And there is nothing behind it. Nothing. No. Which is why people are so mad at the cryptocurrencies and Dogecoins. And they, I laugh because they go, Dogecoin, there's, there's an infinite amount. That's why it will never have value because there's an infinite amount of Dogecoin that can be mined. And I said, okay, well, our whole world that we know revolves around the gold standard and there's an infinite amount of gold. No, there's only so much you can pull out. How much? You can't answer that. So the number's infinity, right. right? We don't know. We don't know. We're not going to, there's yeah. not a hole and we look at and go, there's that much left. Which is why to me, no idea. back to our very first conversation about minimum wage. Yeah, well... <laughs> This is, <laughs> I, was on, I was on Facebook today. Somebody was like, I don't want to see it be $15 an hour. I want to see it be $20 an hour. I was like, I want to see it be 50 Why wouldn't it be 50 Just make it $50 an hour. What yeah. fucking difference does it make? What, make it $50 an hour. When you see a price on any product, it's just completely made up. <laughs> it's just made up. It doesn't, it's just the nothing behind it. That's true. We don't know. We, you get a paycheck. It all started with one price. Well, at some point in history, Someone was like, this will cost you this. And then from then on, everything now has someone's like, well, I need a, I need a number. Well, here's the thing is, is that it was a devious on. person. Look, the devious the way person. I look at it, because people, there was no money. Like I would imagine, I think, I believe if I'm not mistaken, when the mm -hmm. Europeans came to this country, there was no system of currency among the people that already lived here. 
Mm. They had a trade and barter system where they trade yeah. products. But I would imagine that if you're doing that, and I, I've never lived in that society, so I don't know. But I would imagine if you're doing that, you're just doing it. You know, you're dealing with some people that are cool and some people that are dicks. You know, it's kind of like when you're trading. You do, I would say you're doing stuff. it out of necessity. Sometimes you're, you're, you you know, need but, but something. You, need, you have you something, you need something. Food. Yeah. I got a leather jacket. You got a, right. you got a steak. I'm going to give you my leather jacket. You give me one of your steaks or ear of corn or whatever. Yeah. And, and I, I would think somewhere along the line, somebody was like, well, I, I don't, you, you don't have a uh, ear of corn. You need an ear of corn. I would like, instead, I'm going to have you work for me. And when you work for me, I'm going to give you this. And the person's like, what the fuck is that? It's a coin. And you'll be able to take this coin and you'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to purchase whatever you want. But they had to be convinced that it was real. My well, yeah. sister, oh, when she sure. was five, <laughs> Or she was three. My sister was like, I ain't buying this bullshit telling me this five is worth five. I want five. And so you had to be convinced that this one was worth five. But now we're also brainwashed. When I introduce this concept to people that are brilliant, they get mad at me and they're like, I'm like, I, my, my whole thing is money is not real. It's not real. It's just, <laughs> well, made, up. It's just made up. It's just made up. It's just, there was it, a point in history mad. where there they was no mad. money. People get mad. People there get was only really things. Mad. And they're like, you're crazy. And I'm like, no, I'm not crazy. You've been convinced to believe this thing. You don't want to let go of your belief because it's it, 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 it holds dear to you. Every The value of everything you own is based on money. You believe you have a certain value, net worth. I don't. I have nothing of value. I have money. I have money. I carry around money. I got money fucking all of them. But I know for a fact that if the world falls apart, it's all it's just a bunch of paper that I'm carrying around that doesn't really mean right. shit. I can't eat it. I can't <laughs> I can't true. breathe it. You can burn it. it. You can lie on fire, you can stay warm. Light it on fire and stay warm. <laughs> You can definitely do that. I pulled up this article earlier in the week because I thought you would you would enjoy it. Overwork killed more than seven hundred forty five thousand people in a year, right? From working too much, I believe. Right. They create jobs, right? Yeah, right. Who need jobs? Right. Right. But it's dangerous right. out there. You can't just have jobs because look, it You're said people people. working fifty five or more hours each week face an estimated thirty five percent higher risk of a stroke and a seventeen percent higher risk We're of dying ourselves. from heart disease. To do these jobs that motherfuckers are creating that we don't even yeah. need to do. Get a robot to do it. Look, there's nothing you can convince me that a robot. We got robots now that can act like dogs. We got, I don't know how to build one, but there are dudes that know how to build them. Just like with the pipeline. Look, I'll give you the perfect example. Bro, Tesla put, puts out like thousands of cars a week. <laughs> I could, dude. You couldn't build a car if you had a thousand weeks. Right. <laughs> if, if, if you gave me a lifetime, a were, lifetime. They, said, they said, look, the only thing that you've got to do between now and death is build a functional car. I, I would be like, you might as well kill me right now. <laughs> but somehow there's a plant there's, over there that dude, turns them out dude that knows, like, thousands like a the, day. Like with the guy that got over the gas, my, my friend, was freaking out about that gas line. She was like, man, that the gas line has been hacked. You don't understand. The computers are not going to fun. I was like, well, look, the, the gas line still exists. There, This is what I know about computers. This is the only thing I know about computers. There's a dude that does know how to use it that'll figure it out. Right. So whatever they've done that's blocking it, not only is there a dude that knows how to fix it, there's a dude that knows how to fix it within a couple of strokes. There's a dude that can literally walk in and see what has been done and be like, oh, I, I see what he did. It's pretty crafty. <laughs> here's, here's what I'm going to do. Because he's smarter than that guy. Right. And as long as we keep the good guys incentivized to do more good than the bad guys, we'll be fine. Now, to incentivize them the with fake money, the well, <laughs> with to convince yeah, them, to convince them that what well, you're going you know, to give them is worth something. You know, they got to be able to. They got to be able to buy a nice house and all that shit. I don't even believe in ownership. Look, I believe we should all do. 
you want to solve all the problems in the world, just open up everything, make so that nobody owns anything. Why would you, you if, if, if nobody owned anything, you wouldn't have to kill people. You wouldn't have to rob people. You wouldn't have to mug people. We can, hmm. capitalism is, in my opinion, God, we're getting so far off topic. This is stuff I wanted to talk about in like episode 20. We'll get there. But we'll get there. Capitalism, in my opinion, is the root of all the problems because people are incentivized to be greedy. And we shouldn't be. What if what if instead of one guy owning a five hundred million dollar yacht, we all owned it? And we could all go on it whenever we wanted to. And what if instead of you living in that mansion, that mansion was available to everybody? We could all go in there. Now, instead of me barnstorming it and knocking the door in, I felt ownership in all of it. We all own everything. All of a sudden, one day, we just, the guy in charge looks and he's like, man, the system we have is fucked. Everybody owns everything. I think the problem, with, the problem with that is just, is people uh, are jealous and people, the yeah, problem are uh, right now humans. It's a right human problem. They, right now, they, because, because, we deny people things and we make them, you know, I, I know people at work and I mean this for real that I've known over the years that will work several weeks to earn enough money to buy a pair of certain shoes. I'm like, man, come on. Look at how hard this person is working. They can't just have the fucking shoes. You ain't give them the fucking shoes. Well, they can't have the shoes. They just have to give them something in exchange. They worked. They got this token. They gave the token for the shoes. They worked hard. They got the shoes. They don't get the shoes and the token. I don't like working hard. I don't know uh, where this working hard thing fucking came to be, like this thing that we reward people for. I like to work easy. I like to chill. Smart people I, work I, easy. I, I like to chill. I like to relax. You, you know what I love to do? I love to read. I love to listen to music. I love to learn. I like to listen to other people's opinions. I, I love to listen to other people's conversations. That's my fucking favorite thing to do. I don't, I get to do that through my job. And then occasionally I get to interact with them with the personal things about my life, my hairstyle, my, you know, they'll, I, I can, people will look at me and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Who the fuck cut your hair? I'm like, come on, let's be honest. <laughs> Obviously, I do it myself. <laughs> nobody is, nobody is fucking, nobody has come up with this design. I am doing it. And I let to interact with those people. And then usually when I give them some information like that, they'll share some information with me. They'll, they'll be like, oh, man, that's fascinating. I've always wanted to do that. Or I do that myself. Or I cut my kid's hair or whatever. And we have a, a, a meaningful conversation. And to me, that's the value of life. I'm like, there's no money you can pay me that's worth this conversation I'm having. I'm getting to exchange ideas with a human being in a friendly way. That's what we live for. Right. And I hope that's what everybody lives for. And I mm -hmm. feel like if we could eliminate the barriers to that, which we all currently exist. I told my friend this morning, I was like, you got to understand something. The people that were in charge, we didn't free no fucking slaves. Those people had no incentive to do so. The, the war meant nothing to them. They don't care how many fucking people die. You think they give a shit how many fucking people die fighting for them? They don't fucking care. Neither side, they didn't care. They figured out a way between the two of them, the rich people that were watching all this fucking fighting going on, they said to themselves, look, the slaves don't want to be called fucking slaves anymore. So let's not call them fucking slaves. Let's tell them they're free. They're going to do the same fucking job. <laughs> Just keep working them and we'll give them Minimum wage. Hey, fucking genius. They're still going to work just as fucking hard. They're going to do exactly what we fucking tell them. We're going to bury them in debt. We're going to tell them that they have to work to pay it off. And they're like, here, oh, war over. Slavery ended. Slavery for everyone begun. And that's where we are now. And if we get together as the slaves and say, we well, ain't going to put up with this bullshit anymore. You could, you could, you could easily. I mean, it wouldn't take much to stop an economy. I mean, just take a, it take like a small percentage of people to just be like almost oh, happened a couple of times doing that anymore. I mean, it's we're not far from it. We're just going to bring us back to the last topic on our critical segment right here, which is uh, back to normal. Back to normal. What does that mean? 
I don't know. I don't know either. We, what the fuck is normal? I, I, I don't know what's is what's normal before talking, right? before what before cops killed people on camera before we burned down Wendy's because the cop killed somebody on camera before war in Iraq for thirty years before what like what's right. normal. Is, when, and was, you tell me when normal was occurring. When was normal occurring? Normal, the, what people are going to put normal as is normal is lemmings. Back to your lemming life where you got up every day and everything went okay. You went to your job, you did your damn job, and then you did your damn, uh, you know, you went home and, and you got to go see your friends and you got to do some sort of routine that was not interfered by the government. Someone else didn't tell you you couldn't go do that shit. That's normal. As long as you were obeying the, the Constitution, rules. the rules presented the rules to you 300 you years ago. <laughs> By God's writing with a pen. Yes, as long as you respect the rules of your elders, you can fucking go back to normal.